The continent of Atlantis was an island which lay before a great flood in the area we now call the Atlantic Ocean. So great an area of land that from her western shores those beautiful sailors journeyed to the South and North Americas with ease in their ships with painted sails. The great Egyptian age is but a remnant of the Atlantean culture. The antediluvian kings colonized the world. All the gods who played in the mythological dramas, in all legends from all lands, were from fair Atlantis. Knowing her fate, Atlantis sent out ships to all corners of the earth. On board were the twelve. The poet, the physician, the farmer, the scientist, the magician, and the other so-called gods of our legends. Though gods they were, and as the elders of our time chose to remain blind, let us rejoice and sing and dance and ring in the new. Hail Atlantis! My name is Coop. Um, I guess these are the events that would explain how I got here. I'm a lifeguard. Junior, but a damn good one. I know my way around my beach better than the best of them. I work hard, I train hard, and I guard hard. Point is, when you step onto my beach, you gotta play by my rules. And my rules are, you gotta break the rules to enforce them. That's where we get to now. With no one else around in the early morning, it just so happened I was the first to see her in the state she was. Naturally, I dragged her into the surf pub away from any prying eyes, and the senior lifeguard, Gladrap, called the police. But, of course, that wasn't how I wanted to do things. I'd previously tried to remind the rest of the lifeguards that the beach is our domain, and that whoever did this to her should have to look out for us. See, Dr. Morgan, I believe that the point of a lifeguard is to do exactly that, guard lives. This was an example of our failure to do so. Also, I don't trust a cop as far as I can throw one. Socialism? Altruism. Oh yeah, and to add insult to injury, catch what this jackass said. I know what you're thinking, Coop. There's no point in trying to be a hero. You're a lifeguard. Don't forget your place. Lifeguards are literally people who save other people's lives. That's the definition of a hero. That's that. Well, I guess I've just been doing this thing wrong the whole time, eh, Coop? What? Yeah. You know, I, uh, I kicked a dog the other day. Didn't have any uh, particular reason to it, just uh, wound up and kicked it. Right in the guts. You know what? I kind of liked it. What? I'm in your head, Coop. I'm in your head. Just like my foot was in that dog. I'll catch you on the bad side. Yeah, that part sounded really irrelevant and probably over-exaggerated. Whatever. Point was, I was alone on this. At least until I returned to where I found the body before. And lo and behold, I find that CD, Dr. Warren Morgan. After a quick Google search, which turned into a quick incognito mode search, I managed to track you down here. And that's everything. That's why I'm here. 
That's crazy, man. Shit, fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh yeah, sorry. Here he talks. I do impressions too. How? Listen, Coop, the fact my best friend is a fish doesn't really matter right now. In fact, if what you've told me is true, then a lot of what's about to occur over the next couple of days is really gonna boggle your mind. So let's just go Plato's allegory of the cave on this, okay? The fuck is- If I told you what we were about to delve into, you wouldn't want to go. But if I showed you, you'd understand. Coop, what we were about to dive into is bigger than yourself, Bigger than the world around you, and bigger than Huey the Talking Fish. Coop, welcome to the world of marine fucking biology. Oh yeah, that's definitely a little more alkaline than the last one. Wait, what are we doing here? Well, I'm not just gonna fucking stop working because you're here. My, my life doesn't fucking stop and start at your leisure. Do you have any idea what would happen to the pH levels were off in these tide pools? Do you, Coop? All right, sorry. It's just... That CD. You're wondering what was on it, aren't you? Well, yeah, that's kind of why I came all this way to find you. That woman you found. I've never met her before in my life. Why would this CD have your name on it then? <laughs> ah, come on. I was Mr. June in Marine Monthly's calendar three years in a row. I absolutely would have made an impression on it. Probably twice a night is my guess. Uh, no, she was probably a first year student who stumbled upon something big and was killed because of it. Something big in marine biology. Once you find a clownfish that wasn't funny. Don't even joke about that, Coop. The clownfish got hold of a comedy gig at the Michael Richards at the Laugh Factory, circa 2006 all over again. Everyone knows that. No, this is an entirely different beast. Listen to the chanting. It sounds antediluvian. Wait, you speak that? I'm a scientist, not a rabbi. To me, it sounds just as antiquated as it does to you. Someone else would need to decipher this. So where do we go from here? Facebook, the wonderful government surveillance scheme it is, allowed me to track her last known location. 27 Kelly Crescent. She attended a party there. Strange, I didn't hear about it. What are you, a fucking drug sniffing dog? I just get around to these kinds of things. Hey, you said you have to have a good understanding of religion to decipher antediluvian, right? Well, I was thinking if we're barking up the wrong tree here, I had a really cool youth pastor called Mike. A youth pastor? Seriously? Hey, he said he'd always try and be there for us, just like Jesus was. Okay, we're here. Something seems wrong. You mean the fact we're standing outside an abandoned house? No, I mean, I thought it was just the photos, but well, I guess this place really is trashed. Hey, maybe let me go in first. I've got to be useful for something, right? What the hell are these kids drinking? That is, that is phenomenal. That is, you, oh, you don't see that. <laughs> you don't see that. In my field of work, you don't.
Why would I have any more experience than you would in this situation? I don't know. I just thought you wanted to do more of the acting stuff. You know, I'm the brains and the beauty, so therefore you'd be the bra. Subjective, but... Oh, shit, he's waking up. Ah, so... You recognise him or not? Yeah, definitely. Exchange kid from Scotland. We all thought he went back after high school. Guess not. Heretics! Blasphemers! You cannot change the magician! Magician? <laughs> Just you wait till the rest of the 12 hear about the blasphemy that's occurred today. Dude, talk normally. Don't bother. Kids are leech. He used to attach himself to people and basically force them to be his friends. He's an intellectual parasite. Oh, that's so. You remember him speaking like William Wallace before? <laughs> no, this is definitely new. Your untruth will be at your undoing! Listen, fucko, you better start speaking English soon, otherwise we're going to have to take this to Pound Town. Gross. Gross. When looking upon me, you look upon one of the twelve. The magician is my name. As all around the continents, how antediluvian people worship or respect the powers that be. Dude, you're literally twenty. What the fuck does antediluvian mean? Also, what does any of this mean? Our people rose before the great floods, the same of which would be our undoing. The biblical one? Before Nora and shit? Uh, before the great flood. Yeah, right. got it. Anyway, a grave enemy you've made today by attempting to stop our people from achieving utopia. <sighs> Don't tell me you're one of those Poseidon's Kiss members, are you? Wait, isn't that when... Never mind. Poseidon's Kiss are a cult masquerading as a religious group that believe wholeheartedly in Platonian ideals such as the perfect youth. Atlantis! Oh, yeah, that. They're basically like a slightly less culty version of Jehovah's Witnesses. Wait, so you're telling me Donovan from high school was so desperate for friendship that he joined a cult? Why doesn't that surprise me? It'd usually be a shocking revelation for a person, but... Nope. Hey, well, you don't need to rub it in. Well, Lord Scotsman, if what you've been saying is true, surely you'll be able to decipher what was on this CD. Wait, that's... I know what that is. Uh, it was a girl carrying that, right? Uh, around that age? Yeah, she was washed up dead on the beach the other day. Shit. I knew I was a fool. What? We were the ones that killed her. Well, not me personally, but I was complacent in it. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was the joke of the Twelve. Oftentimes they keep things from me, or just straight up lie. Things really took a turn last week. The poet, a leader, she met with a, a god. A scaled, chiseled, perfect form. You met him back there. That fish thing? Can I talk? Anyways. The god told us that he required human blood to satisfy him. So, one of our members offered themselves to him, and that's where our woman steps in. She came smashed from a party and stumbled onto that procession. And as anyone would, she managed to record a little onto her phone before she was scared off and they actually committed the ritual. And after that, they sent me to go find her, and, and I managed to grab her before and she got to you, but. They took care of the rest. That's all I can say, really. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't realize it until it was too late. But yet it was my complacency that killed her. But why a CD? Probably wanted something solid. You can't trust digital nowadays. Either that or she was one of those alternative girls. You know the ones. The ones that buy the Polaroid cameras and dye their hair. By well, the moment Supernatural comes on, they lose their fucking minds. Watch it. Look, I think I better start getting honest about a couple of things here. <clears throat> Number one, I'm the one who made your god. What? what? Pisces Sapiens, a wise fish. I knew him as Wiley. He was my master's project at university. So you can create life just like that? Of course I can. I increased Huey's brain power for fun during my freshman year. Fucking hell, Warren, this is exactly the kind of shit that I hate about your whole fucking occupation. Your playing God with the natural world has left a woman dead. Your profession is nothing more than a game of dominance against a force that can barely fight back. What the fuck were you thinking? I I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. No. No. <laughs> 
is my mess. Because of that, that means it's my mess to clean up. So it's time to face responsibility for humanity's actions. So these Atlantis freaks, they're sacrificing themselves for your experiment because? Because we thought he could raise Atlantis back from the waters. got to stop it. It's marine biologist's job to protect the wildlife of our oceans at any cost and the lifeguard's job to do exactly that. Guard lives. I'm coming with you. No, you really don't no, have to do that. No, I must atone for my sins. This is just as much as my fight as it is yours. God, anything for fucking friends. No, we need him. He knows the ins and outs of the place. You really have to catch a ride as well. Why? Didn't he tell you those impressions? Yeah, so does my stepdad when we go and eat out at a Chinese restaurant, but that doesn't mean we need to hear them. Ever. You'll see. Alright. I'm giving you all equipment for this. We don't want to kill anyone, just stop whatever's going on down there. Wiley's a different beast, however. What am I meant to do with this? You'll see, Braveheart. Why are we in the back again? We went over this Huey called shotgun. Suckers. So, your church is located inside a giant cave. What a fucking nightmare. All right, we're gonna need to split up. Coop, you with me. Donovan, you with Huey. You guys will need to find a way to stop the ritual. We'll hold them off until you can do so. Guessing you know the layout pretty well, Donovan? I know enough. But no one actually taught me how to read antediluvian. That's why Huey's here. He's our decipherer. Didn't help that much with the CD though, since all you guys really chanted was Atlantis over and over again. Impressions are my speciality. I do a really good Daryl Summers from Hey Hey. Let's go. So like, what's your deal, man? Look, just want to find these tomes. No worries, no worries. Huey abides. You keep up with, uh, Michael Richards? Let's go. Wait. What are you doing? Coop, this weapon fires suntan lotion. It's meant for Wiley since fish hate this stuff. So as are your bug repellent grenades. Coop, what color is suntan lotion? I've pulled the grenades so I don't have to think about this. You got all that, Amiga? Yeah, could have heard it without the accent, though. I think we just found the wily son of a gun. Good one. Where's their leader? Where's the poet? Fuck, where's Wiley? Uh, I think we're about to find out. Mr. June? You're goddamn fucking right I am. I believe in my friends. I believe in me. I believe in my friends. I believe in me. Bro, what the hell are you doing? Eight salt, you ballad. Careful, Kurt. I got a feeling this chick's got some magical voodoo shit prepared for us, so. Shit! Fuck, she's got a gun. She's got an actual gun. That is correct. This wench is packing. Ultimately, I am sorry I have to do this to you. Especially you, Mr. Jean. Um. 
I get it. I'm sorry. But this is the end. We did it. Holy shit, we actually did it. Oh yeah, bros. We're the best. We're the best around. I killed a fish monster. I am the magician. <laughs> I... Oh, look, police. Fucking pigs. I mean, he was literally oh. covered in blood and guts, and we had an unconscious woman at our feet. Well, uh, that guy who posted our bail was nice and all. No, he wasn't. He did it to save his own ass. The guy's nothing but a. Ah, hey, Florian. Hey, guys. Sorry about all that. I gotta run though. But let me know if you guys need anything. I mean, anything. You know, food, a bit of fun, or a place to stay. Well done, man. Well done. <laughs> See you, Keith. Kicks dogs, guys. Anyways, now that that's all over, I guess we can go back to. Wait, what the hell is that? That's not good. Oh no! Oh no! 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 What? The tide pools. We forgot about the tide pools. The pH levels, Coop. The pH levels are out of whack. What does that even mean? In the mythological. It means. In all legends from all lands, where. Means we got work to do. Knowing her fate, Atlantis sent out ships to all corners of the earth. On board were the twelve. The poet, the physician, the farmer, the scientist, the magician. Because if humanity is inevitably always going to be messing with the natural world's affairs, by God, that means there better be someone on cleanup duty. Let us rejoice and let us sing and dance and ring in the new. Hail Atlantis! Way down below the oceans Where I wanna be, she may be Way down below the oceans Where I wanna be, she may be Wait, you guys never told me how you managed to take out the 12 by yourselves. Surely you had another plan if all else failed, right? What the hell is that? You've lost a mind. No one here could. Everybody gets one. Well, I'd say it was. Divine. We're not talking about this. Okay. <laughs>